so welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new welcome to the jenny liz q family before we begin this video make sure to like comment share and subscribe hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified every time we upload now to begin today we are going to be doing some dollar tree diys with the inspiration of mickey mouse and some of the stuff i also got from walmart our first DIY, we're gonna be making this wood mini sign. To begin, we're gonna start off with this wood palette from the Dollar Tree and the paint that I'm using is from Walmart. We're gonna start off with some red and white paint. Now, if you want, you can do two coats of paint depending on the look that you're going for. Um, I only ended up doing one layer because I then am going to go back with some sandpaper and I'm just going to wear out the paint and give it a very farmhouse, country style look. paper that I'm using is also from the Dollar Tree. Next we're using this template that I got from the internet and this Silly Winks glitter foam that I had already but I purchased it from Hobby Lobby. They come in all types of colors so we're just gonna cut it and then we're gonna glue it on to the wood palette. I ended up using hot glue. And on the left hand side you see that I have a glitter bow. This was my original idea but I just really wasn't feeling it. It really wasn't giving me like patriotic vibes. So I then go back with some scattered star confetti that I ended up getting from Walmart. It was super inexpensive. I think it was like probably like a dollar or two. So I'm just uh, cutting around the blue star that I'm going to be using and then I'm gonna cut also some red stars uh, to put on the sides to make it look like a star crown. And here I'm cutting out a silver star because I wanted to add a little bit more detail to it. Our next DIY is this Minnie Mouse sign. This is super easy to make and to begin we are going to be using this foam board that I had from the Dollar Tree. And here I have another Mickey Mouse template that I ended up printing out from the internet. So we're just going to trace around it and then we are going to be cutting it with some scissors. <laughs> taking this uh, black glitter foam that I used in the other um, DIY and I'm just gonna glue it on to the sheet so then that way I can just uh, cut around it. Once you're done cutting out the head shape, we are going to be using these star confettis and I'm just going to be using one red and two blues. And guys, you could also use the flowers from the Dollar Tree and just glue it on the top. I think it will give it a very girly look. Then taking some twine and I'm going to be gluing it to the back if you want you could also make some holes I thought about it last minute but I just added some glue 
put the string and then I added more glue just to keep it in place. And that's pretty much it guys. This is perfect to hang on your door, to go outside, or if you have a door in the kitchen as well. For our next DIY, we're making this Mickey pillow. And I'm going to be using fabric from Walmart. I only paid about $2 for this fabric. Guys, I would recommend using a sewing machine or if you want to sew it by hand. I noticed that when I used the hot glue gun, the fabric wasn't adhering in the way that I wanted. It kind of gave me a little bit of a hard time. So I would recommend sewing this. Um, but for video purposes, and so you guys can have an idea, I ended up just finishing it off with the glue. You're also going to need some polyfill from Walmart. I had all of this stuff on hand. skewers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just poking through some foam glitter stars also from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna be placing this in my tray there's so much that you can do with this you can even um, just add one star to the top and tuck them into your florals so this was something that was super inexpensive <laughs> Last DIY, we're going to be making this patriotic flower pot. I ended up getting these pots from Walmart, but I know that Dollar Tree has something similar, but I believe that they're more smaller. I'm going to be using this Waverly white chalk paint and I'm going to be applying it with a makeup sponge as I find that it's quicker um, and it's better than using a paintbrush. Next, I'm going to be using red paint and I'm going to be painting on some red stripes. Don't worry about it being perfect. I mean, if that's the look that you're going for, then by all means. But since we are going with a farmhouse country style look, I really didn't want it to be perfect. And here I'm just taking some sandpaper from the Dollar Tree and I'm just wearing it out a little bit. And now I'm going in with some blue paints and same thing, don't worry about it being perfect because we're going to be sanding that area as well. And here I just have some foam stars that I got from Walmart and I'm just going to stick them on. You can also paint the stars if you don't have um, these stars available to you. And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making this as I am a true Disney fan. Make sure to comment, like, and share this video. Also subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and on Snapchat. And until next time, guys. Bye. Mwah. Oh, 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 oh,